All right, y'all. We're going to cook some hibachi uh, vegetables this time. Throw you a little bit of butter off in your skillet. Let that, let that warm up just a little bit. I'm going to have y'all watching this butter melt. It won't take long. We're cooking on high. Just, just got it just wide open. You ain't got to cook it on high. But if you cook it on high, it's going to cook fast. My wife wants me to stir with a spoon instead of my hand. I wash my hand this month. I don't know why she, why she gets upset with me. Y'all see this butter melting, right? Yeah. Y'all tired of watching butter melt? Put some vegetables in there. She want me to put some onion in that first. <laughs> I put some onion in my sweet tea too. We probably gonna get that out of there. I don't think I want onion in my sweet tea. Yeah, the sweet tea in the in the hibachi vegetables is optional. You ain't got to put them in there. Let them onions start cooking. Get a little heat on them. We like hot onions. Put you some zucchini and some squash in there. Y'all know how they cook them. Y'all know how they cut them up. Cut my tea off. It's, it's ready. I spilled one of the onions in my tea, y'all. Y'all seen that? It went right over over there in that flop. All right, we're going to cook this up for a little while. Y'all hear that sizzle? That's how you know it's gonna taste good. If it's sizzling like that. There's that butter we didn't let melt. Just gave up on it. It'll be all right though. It'll melt. Don't season it with a little garlic powder. Don't spill it in your sweet tea. It'll make your sweet tea taste like garlic. It already tastes like onion. A little onion powder in there. I don't know if I caught myself on camera catching that cap or not, but if I did, y'all better comment good catch. Because that was a good catch. Just a touch of pepper. I had made another video of this right here, but my, my baby girl helped me out with it. And she put lemon pepper in there. She thought that's what I wanted. This is salt, y'all. I had a salt shaker one time. I threw it in the garbage. Uh, that lemon pepper just wasn't too good on it. That was the first time we had tried it. I wouldn't recommend putting lemon pepper on you. On your hibachi vegetables. Save your lemon pepper for your chicken. Stir it up. Let it cook. I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I got some uh, froze broccoli and cauliflower. I'm gonna throw off in the middle of it. Just give us a little more, a little more variety in there. If I was just cooking for myself, I'd probably put some mushrooms in there. You can put some mushrooms, some extra onions, some edamame or snap green beans, you know, whatever kind of stuff you want to put in here. And you leave stuff out. You can leave out the zucchini, squash, 
Don't leave out the onion though. It's gonna mess it up if you leave the onion out. I know some of y'all don't like onion, but you're just gonna have to eat the onion if you're gonna eat our bocce vegetables. Cliff, you can leave the onion out, I reckon. Y'all, Cliff is serious about onions. Me and Cliff was coming back from somewhere late one night. We stopped at Arby's to get him a sandwich. One of them lamb sandwiches. And uh, they put onion on that lamb sandwich. Cliff got all upset. I said, man, ain't no big deal. I said, man, all you got to do is just, just, you know, flick the onions off of your sandwich, man. You can eat it. You know, it'll be all right. So, uh... He said, all right, I'm gonna get off the next exit and we're gonna flick these onions off of here. Well, uh, he got off the next exit, pulled up on the entrance ramp, going back on the interstate, and got a stop, you know, and he turned around in his seat and opened up his lamb sandwich and started flicking onions out the out the door. Had his legs hanging out the door and everything. I'm sitting over there. And I ain't I, I can't even talk. I'm laughing like a hyena. I cannot handle it. And uh, all of a sudden, Cliff's like, man, what you laughing at? These onions ain't that funny. I reached over and grabbed the steering wheel and turned it to the lift just a little bit, keep us from going off in a ravine. He done forgot to put it in park. We just sitting there lurching forward, finna go off in the ditch. I'm like, Cliff, you gonna kill us over some onions? He's like, how? You gonna sit over there and laugh like a hyena and let us die? <laughs> Good times, good times. So Cliff can leave his onions out. He can put some bell pepper in there or something. He like bell pepper. All right, we're gonna let these cook for a little while. I might put some more butter in them. I don't know, I ain't decided yet. They look a little dry. I like them dry though, they need to be dry. I don't really think he's gonna care. You hungry, baby girl? Got to get some of these onions in the middle, get them cooking. Y'all hear my wife talking to me in the background on some of these videos. She coaching me, telling me how to cook all this stuff.
She told me how to make macaroni and cheese one time. I'm gonna fog up the camera. She told me how to make macaroni and cheese one time. She spilled the rice again. She gonna spill the rice, y'all. See it right there? Let's spill. It'll be all right. I bet it cooks faster if I just quit stirring it. I don't know. But I did. She told me what happened if I forgot to press her cord. That's amateur stuff. I see people on YouTube do it all the time. Scared it's gonna stick. Y'all see that? It's sticking. Get some more butter. Please. Oh, me. Yeah. Now, look, y'all. Don't use too much of this butter. It's bad for your cholesterol and, and all that good stuff. These videos are for entertainment purposes only, not to really teach y'all how to cook. Because we don't cook healthy around here. You probably use some olive oil or something like that. It'd probably be, you know, probably be fairly healthy. If your olive oil has got some extra virgins in them, it'll probably be healthy too. Make sure you got some extra virgins in your olive oil. Nobody want that bite. I started right on out the pot. It's starting to look a little bit more like I like it. I'm going to dump some Kickleman's teriyaki sauce off in it. Because that bottle's gone. We're going to go ahead and draw it. We got a brand new bottle here. Ain't never been open. We're going to put it off in there. About that much right there. Somebody done asked me about these measurements. I got to tell y'all, I can't cook with measurements. Because, you know, everybody's taste is different. You're going to have to figure out exactly what works for you. And uh, a lot of this stuff I'm cooking, I don't know the measurement. I just put what I put in there. And... Uh, I'm showing you what I'm putting in here. If I was, if I was just going to tell you exactly put a fourth of a cup of Kickleman's in there, I could have just wrote that on a piece of paper and just, you know, shared it on my Facebook page or something. But I'm showing you that it ain't a third of a cup. It's ever how much that was. And then we're going to cook it all out of there. And just... You see it steaming off of there, it's fogging up the camera and stuff. But 
they starting to look a little bit like hibachi vegetables now. Dang, I forgot. She told me to don't be wrapping a spoon on the side of the pan. Throw the whole video away. She mad now, y'all. And now we get to the most fun part. That right there. I like to just let it burn till the uh, till the flames go away, and then we'll stir it again, mix it all up. It's gonna be about done then. Flames all gone. Give it a good stir. That's it, y'all. I'm gonna turn it down on low and let it simmer for a little while longer just to get my vegetables a little softer. But that's how you cook our bocce vegetables.